that going to launch me to Facebook and we'll go to my page. Okay, so promoted post. Uh, we've talked about edge rank and that uh, the reality of where business pages are at, that if you don't have some help uh, amongst your colleagues and friends and local business, it's very tough to get your content seen on a Facebook page. Uh, this is one way that you can pay to fix that. Um, it is paying for edge rank. You're, you're going to take a post and instead of it being popular because everybody liked it and commented and shared it, you're paying a fee and that fee is going to keep that post up. More people will see it uh, in a 24 hour, 36 hour period. So I was going to do one. Um, I did do this event uh, for this class this time and so here is a post that uh, I have pinned to the top of my page and you can see right here is the promote. Click that, drop it down, okay, it, it automatically says five bucks and with five bucks the estimated reach is 700 people will see that post. Oh, so then I can do the drop down and I can go to $10 and my estimated reach at 10 bucks is 1,400 people. So let's talk just for a couple of minutes where that would be valuable. I said events, right? Mm -hmm. Totally makes sense. I've got an event, I want people to see it, I want people to be involved with it. Um, so that would be a great tool. What else? What would be another? Maybe if I'm posting a, a blog post on it, so we'll see the blog post. Right, right. Be? I mean, it could get really expensive if you're a fairly pro prolific blog blogger. However, again, getting your content seen because it's got links to my web page. Absolutely and all that. right. Publication, publication of a new ebook or a new yeah, book? ebook, uh huh, newsletter. So I have my uh, newsletter for some of the brands that I manage. They auto populate to Facebook to the wall. You could promote that. Uh, again, anything that you want people to see for a while. This is from your business page. And to gain some more interaction. Yes. Is it going to be, I mean, who is it going to be? Who are those people going to be? It's people who've liked the page and their friends. If you actually, it even says, uh, uh, if you go into more options here, um, uh, in the agreement, somewhere along the way I read, uh, it's actually on the link for the uh, uh, for that's in the uh, that's in the slideshow. Uh, it goes in and says that this reaches your your posts typically reach the, it reaches the people who've liked your page, and then friends of those people. Depending on typically how much edge rank you get on a post. Well, this is paying for edge rank. You're you're getting it's replacing edge rank if you pay for it basically. So your post is going to be seen. So, for instance, I did. Uh, Dale posted the event for this uh, class for Friday. I shared it <coughs> on my business page, and then I did a test on it. And typically, with that event post, I get maybe maybe a couple of hundred uh, people see it. I was able to triple that by paying five bucks as a test. I don't know. I, I'm not sure if I if I made my question clear, but okay. like those people that you're paying for, who are they? It's the people who have liked your page um, that would their existing fans who would have seen it had all of us interacted on the post and created the, the you know the edge rank snowball. No. You're just paying to replace the interaction. So this is one of Facebook's ways of, they hope, to get more business engagement and more business involved in the process. However, the pushback may be, you know, everybody ignoring businesses because it's annoying. Um, my other question is that promote, I, I um, had heard about this and, and I don't have that promote button on it. Yeah, we'll have at least um, there are a few and 
I'm, and I'm not sure whether it's uh, already automatic if you've set up, uh, have you run ads before? No. It may be that, again, you've already got an ad account set up, uh, and that may be a qualifier as well. I have not gone in and uh, done all the qualifications. You know, I was thinking that if you think about all the time you spend trying to get ed edge rank, mm -hmm. and like, for example, some of the business groups in town, that that's their main purpose is to get everybody to go in. And you're supposed to go in every day and like and share and comment on mm -hmm. other people in the group to increase their edge rank. That's quite a bit of time. So five or ten dollars would be mm -hmm. a deal. Yeah, I think I it would be very selective. Yeah. Selective. True. But now, if you don't use it, are you, are you at a disadvantage now? I believe you are, because I've seen some drop-off in edge rank, uh, oh. even with interactivity. So I'm a part of a group that mm -hmm. does do some artificial edge rank stimulation. <gasps> and uh, <laughs> and uh, so they're helping me get my edge up. And uh, I have seen a drop-off in my interactivity since this went live. Now, Maybe I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm a, a conspiracy theorist or whatever, but it, it seems as though my numbers, when I look at them and when I compare, they're lower. Yeah. Are you on the smart group page right now? Is this the smart group This page? is actually my page. Oh. Uh, I'll jump over to the smart group page, but anyway, so all you would do, you click your five bucks and then hit save, and you're going to promote that. Uh, I just spent five dollars promoting a video, um, but that's okay. Um, so you're going to be selective. My my fear in this is that I'm trying to measure that the you know the reason that Facebook didn't blow up when they uh, made it available uh, uh, for a first offering of stock is because they, you know, they don't have marketing value like LinkedIn at this point as far as profit. There's no profit machine because we all got on Facebook initially, most, for the most part, because we wanted to see our you know, second cousin, cousin's brother's right. pictures doing something stupid or whatever, <laughs> whatever your reason was. We saw so it was relationship, it was relationship. So to move from that dynamic <coughs> to a business model is a mental shift for everybody that's on Facebook. So there's a lot of rejection and pushback for people who are actively engaging in business. So that's why we always talk about don't sell, don't sell. It's a relationship, not sell on Facebook. Uh, so I'm, I'm wondering what the long-term effect will be, how many people, because now you can choose to not get a business page content in your newsfeed. When you like that page, you have the option. Do you want to see this in your newsfeed? Yes, no, leave it alone. It's, it's there in your newsfeed. So the possibility is there could be pushback <laughs> on it, but we'll never control marketers. Marketers are going to do what marketers do, and they're going to overuse it. And I expect to see some big budget, big companies begin to push their content heavily with paid posts. Did, did, have you noticed that if you just go to Facebook.com and you're not signed in, there's a big ad now. There never used to be. Yeah. I think it was Wendy's this morning. Yes, I saw. I that too. Mm -hmm. Wow. So maybe we should buy Facebook stock. What's it at right now? If they don't get an enormous pushback, there it, it may turn and it may be okay. But at the same time, uh, it will Facebook's be Facebook's also going to start asking for your cell phone. Oh, they've been asking They've already yeah. asked for it. Yeah. I haven't seen that yet. Yes, it has uh, sometimes I'm not been annoying. <laughs> okay, so uh, how about Facebook posts 